Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm recreating some Pinterest outfits while focusing on keeping my personal style in the outfits I create. When I create an outfit on Pinterest, what I like to focus on is not really to recreate the outfit exactly as it is, but to really pinpoint what I like and was drawn to in the outfit, and then to try and capture that in the outfit I create myself. I do a lot of these Pinterest inspired outfit videos because I love playing around and styling pieces in my wardrobe and I love seeing something really beautiful on someone else and thinking about how I can make it work for my own wardrobe and for my own style. The jewelry pieces I'm showing in today's video are all from Monica Vinita, who I'm partnering with in today's video. I'll be sharing some of my favorite pieces in a moment but let's get started with recreating the first look. This is an outfit that I pinned quite a while ago and it's one of the outfits that really really inspire me so I refer back to it all the time. I really like the simplicity of this outfit but I also like that it has a few playful touches for example the bag handle and also the beaded earrings. In my first recreated outfit I'm wearing this cos white t-shirt with slightly more of a drop shoulder and a longer sleeve and then I've gone for some cream trousers. My shade of trouser is a lot more muted than the original photo so I wanted to bring in a little bit more color by adding one more piece. This mustard yellow sweatshirt is probably the closest I have to a yellow in my wardrobe so I'm just adding this piece um, and tying it around my shoulder. Because I don't have a beaded hoop, I just went for a simple silver hoop and I added on some beaded necklaces and I feel like with these two accessories, we get a very similar vibe to the image. For every Pinterest outfit, I'm going to try and show at least two of my own recreation. In this outfit, everything is quite light, so I actually wanted to add a black jacket. The reason this suits my style a little bit more is that in a color analysis, I learned that dark colors tend to suit me more than light colors, and high contrast suits me more than going for all light or all dark. I know from speaking to you guys in the comments, some of you guys also have the issue that I have where I love a certain aesthetic. It's not always the best for my coloring or my height. So I'm always trying to meet in the middle somewhere where I still love what I'm wearing and it also suits me a little bit more. And I feel like we get there in this outfit. These photos are my second outfit inspiration and it's just featuring a very simple oversized blue shirt and then a black pants. Very simple pieces, but I love taking inspiration to try and elevate those boring everyday looks. So I've got two blue shirts in my wardrobe. This blue shirt is a bit more muted. And then I've also got this one, which is a lighter, brighter color. But I'm going to go for this one because the shape is slightly more oversized, which I feel like suits the inspo a little bit more. I want to take a moment here and talk about some of my favorite pieces from Monica Veneda. All their jewelry pieces are made from recycled sterling silver or recycled 18 karat gold vermeil. And any gemstones, pearls, or diamonds that they use are all ethically sourced. The packaging is actually made from recycled materials and it's also recyclable. Something I really love about the brand is their repair and rewear program that is just designed to prolong the life of the jewelry. One of my favorite pieces right now is this gemstone beaded necklace just because I am obsessed with the color combination. They're really stunning turquoise and greens and reds and it's just such a fun piece to add to a simple look. Another favorite is the Keshi pearl necklace and I really love pearls in my earrings or my necklaces anything close to the face because I feel like it has this brightening effect. Pearls are also incredibly classic and I kind of like this more modern take on the classic pearls. A classic that I know I'll repeatedly wear a lot are these silver hoops. They're really good size and I like that they're not perfectly round. There's a little bit of imperfection in it that just adds to the style and it's also got little diamonds at the front that just adds a little bit of sparkle. If you've been eyeing something up from Monica Vinita, I do have a 20% off discount and you'll find the information and the link in the description box down below. Going back to styling the outfit, I've got on the blue shirt, the black pants, I've got on a little necklace stack which I feel like is the focal part of the outfit. I don't wear sunglasses a lot but I have pulled these out because for simple outfits, I do feel like it adds a nice touch. The only other accessory I see is that for a handbag, it's got a chain shoulder strap. So I'm just going to use this one, which I feel like is the closest I have in my wardrobe. The final touch I've added to make this my own personal style is a clog. Now I'm not going to say a clog is my style, I'm still experimenting with the shoe. But it is a little bit less classic and it's adding a quirk to this outfit. And because of that, it just feels less serious, feels a bit more casual. And I like that touch. To the look. I've just had a little play around trying to 
figure out how to make this outfit more like my style. I've added a black skims bodysuit to the look and wearing the black bodysuit makes the jewelry pop a little bit more and it also follows a proportion that I really like where I wear something very form-fitting on top and I match that with looser trousers. Beyond adding the bodysuit, the only other thing that's changed is this necklace. I do have two of these necklaces so I just attach them to each other and I'm wearing it as a longer necklace now. This is my next outfit inspiration and I chose this outfit because well I like it but also because I knew I had something very similar. I have a navy jumpsuit and I haven't really styled it in this way so I thought it would be good inspiration for something I already owned. This jumpsuit here is from End of a Stories. I feel like the fit of this is really flattering. It's really comfortable to wear. It's almost like loungewear because the material is a little bit stretchy and I just want to wear it more. I finished styling this look and even though I've worn something very 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 similar before just by changing up the belt and some of the accessories I feel like it feels a lot more stylish and elevated than the last time I wore it. Adding the sunglasses is another little touch and then the jewelry stack that feels a bit more statement I think completes the look. I wanted to quickly try this outfit with another belt and I chose this Cezanne Artemis belt. I really love this belt but it is a little bit on the thicker side and I find it a little bit less versatile so I don't wear it as often as some of my other belts. With this jumpsuit I feel like this thicker belt is perfect and I'm excited to wear two pieces that I haven't gotten a ton of wear from lately more often. The outfit before felt a little bit plain to me. So in this outfit, I just added a v-neck sweater vest to the look and it just gives a bit more detail, a bit more layering and texture. I think it's also perfect if we're talking about summer to fall dressing because it's really, really a very light layer that gives you a little bit of that autumn fall look without adding necessarily too much warmth. I mentioned in my last video that I really like adding a pop of color to an outfit. So because everything is very neutral in this look, I've just added this green bag um, on top of the little bit of color I have in the necklace. If you're interested in this jumpsuit, it's from End of the Stories. And on my height, 5'3", 160 centimeters, I didn't tailor it. It is a little bit long if I wear it with flats, but with heels, it's perfect. These two images on my Pinterest board I saved because they both feature a green jacket, which I also have in my wardrobe. With really bright colors like this one, I often like to wear it with neutrals that are not black and are not white. The reason is that when I pair this with black or with white, I feel like it makes the color more intense and more vibrant and sometimes I just want to dull it down a little bit for the everyday. Firstly, the outfit was fairly easy to recreate. I just took some white pieces that I own to recreate the dress and then because both outfits pair the green with a brown shoe, I went for mustard yellow which was the closest I had in my wardrobe. I kept wearing a lot of the jewelry that I've been wearing throughout this video and I just noticed that if I actually take away the jewelry, I feel like this outfit is actually more dramatic but by adding on the additional color, the additional textures and even the slightly more statement shoe, this outfit actually comes together and it feels a lot more balanced than if I was to wear this alone with the really simple kind of block color. What this outfit is showing me is that when you add on layers of interest, so the shoes, the colorful beads, the textures and then also the green, our eye actually wants wonders around the outfit and it doesn't necessarily make it more dramatic it actually balances the whole thing out and then if I wore it really plain with the jacket this piece would stand out a lot more none of these are right or wrong it's really just a matter of what you're trying to achieve in the look this outfit here is based on the other image and this one feels a little bit more in my comfort zone I've got this as on Betty knit styled as a sweater with black trousers and I've also added in some neutral so the beige the brown the gold to make the green feel a bit more subtle in the look. This outfit is still my go-to way of wearing color but it was fun to play with that first outfit and make a slightly more maximalist look or more statement look compared to my usual very simple outfits. Something else that I'm always on the lookout for are new ways to wear a check blazer. I have quite a few of them in my wardrobe I wear it all the time usually with jeans so anything slightly interesting or exciting I like to pin. There are a couple of different elements that I'm drawn to in this outfit. So firstly, I really like the turquoise with that brown. I don't own a lot of this warm brown shade and once again, the closest thing is this mustard yellow top I have. And because I don't have a turquoise check blazer, such a specific item, I'm pairing it with the turquoise necklace again and then just the check blazer in a white. Even though my outfit here is not too similar to the inspo photo, I do feel like I've recreated some of the things that I really liked about it. So we've got the color palette 
with my necklace and top and I've also replaced the leather texture which I don't really have in my wardrobe with other textures so we've got this velvet corduroy texture and then also this nubby texture of the blazer I like the outfit I just created but to be honest it feels very put together there was just a lot going on so for my next outfit I'm really just going to take away a lot of the elements and just focus on that um, mustard and turquoise combination in the photo it was more of a brown and teal but the closest I have is mustard and turquoise so we're just gonna go with it keeping the top and necklaces the same I'm just using the rest of my outfit to complement these two colors so I've got the blue to tie in with the turquoise and I've got the brown in the sandal to tie in with this mustardy color I like this outfit a lot more than the last one and even though if we compare it to the inspo photo these two outfits now have nothing to do with each other but I don't think I would wear this without the prompt of that photo I recently added these white loafers to my wardrobe I really like them but because I've never owned shoes like this I have been figuring out how to best style them so looking on Pinterest for inspo I came across this photo which is super super simple but because I haven't styled shoes like this at all I thought I would start here I recreated this outfit with a navy knit and then black trousers I have navy trousers but they're more structured so I feel like the black one is a bit more easy to style and then of course the white loafers the outfit is really simple so I even have on a similar hoop earring and then this is the bag I've chosen which I feel like is a lighter bag close to what she's wearing in the photo right off I can tell that this outfit is a little bit too minimal for my style so I've just added a silk scarf to the outfit this is still pretty minimal but I can see myself wearing it now in this outfit here I'm still trying to style my white loafers but I've taken inspiration from this photo instead I feel like a lot of the outfits I see with white loafers feature very minimal color palettes and minimal design I've taken away from this image wearing light gray with the white loafers keeping a fairly minimal look over raw and then adding in a pop of red color I've only had these loafers for about two weeks but in that time this is definitely my favorite outfit I've created with the loafers and this is one that I'm definitely going to wear sometime this week even if I took away the pop of red and just wore it with a simple bag I still really love this look I think part of it is definitely the white trousers blending in with the shoe but the other part is the gray color I feel like works really well with the black and white shoe I own some of these really bright really fun orange orange pants and today I want to style it in a way that's similar to my inspo I've got a really close to the inspo photo where I've got these orangey red pants I'm wearing it with navy on top I could have gone for a cardigan and worn like a white tee inside or something but I feel like I prefer it a little bit cleaner so I just went all navy and then the orange pants even my shoe color is a nude shade that's pretty similar to what's in the image and also I've got sunglasses I really want to create an outfit that does feel fun and experimental but it doesn't really cross the line where it becomes too too trendy and just completely outside of what I normally wear this outfit recreation definitely feels like it ticks that box because I still feel very comfortable in it even though it's bright orange pants one of the additions that stop this outfit from feeling too too trendy is this pearl necklace I feel like anytime there are pearls in an outfit it just feels a little bit more classic a bit more timeless and I feel like that's exactly what this is doing to the outfit if I just hide the necklaces for a moment and pretend I was wearing this bag or um, some chunky silver jewelry I would feel like the vibe of the look is completely different and because this is not my personal style this outfit would be really really trendy on me the pearls is something that I really love having in this outfit just to ground it and make it feel like my style this is my second outfit and I've just changed the navy blouse to a navy sweater I've done a half tuck and I've also changed my bag from black to beige other than that this outfit is pretty much the same and honestly I did try charcoal, I tried black, I tried some white I don't really like a lot of the other neutrals with the orange nearly as much as I like the navy I would do some shades of blue but I didn't want to wear a shirt with the trousers either so navy it is even though it's not the most exciting because it's so similar to the last one i do really like this combination and this is another one that i can actually see myself wearing whereas with the gray and the black not so much the color of my pants here are not really orangey red it's definitely more orange 
So if you have something in this color, let me know what colors you pair with it. But other than navy, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Moving on to my final inspiration, we've got this look, which I love because it just feels unexpected. The jacket to me feels more feminine, the t-shirt feels a bit cooler, maybe vintage. And then we've also got that chunky pearl necklace. And I really like it when things that shouldn't go together, go together. It always feels a bit fun, a bit quirky to me. And that's what I like about this look. In my outfit, I've got the graphic t-shirt I've got my polka dot piece in a shirt and then I've just added the jacket as well as the clogs. What I'm trying to do in the rest of the outfit is create an unexpected mix and match feel. So we've got the jacket, the polka dot and the pearls which feels quite ladylike and classic. And then we've got the graphic tee that's a bit more casual and then the clogs which is just like a whole different vibe to the rest of the pieces. This outfit here is what I'm taking away from the inspiration. I don't find this outfit to be very chic but it is a little bit fun and I think good for a very casual kind of day. This is the final look that I'm going to show you and in this outfit I'm just fixing some of the things that I didn't love about the last one. I felt like the jacket with the jeans felt a little bit too boxy so I've just gone for some fluid cream trousers instead. I'm still wearing my clogs and instead of the polka dot I'm doing this blazer which I also feel like is similar to what she's wearing even though you know the print is slightly different. This outfit feels a bit more flattering and a little bit more chic to me but still a little bit unexpected with the pairing of the clogs and then also the graphic tee with the slightly dressier blazer. So I think this is the look that I'll finish up on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know that whenever I do this, I just get so many outfit ideas that I'm genuinely excited to wear for the next week or the next two weeks. And it just gets the ball rolling in experimenting again in my own wardrobe. That was actually really fun for me. And if you guys have a couple of outfits that you really love on Pinterest or Instagram, I hope you recreate it in your wardrobe as well. A big thank you to Monica Vinader for working with me in today's video. If any of the jewelry in this video caught your eye, I will have everything linked down below as well as my 20% off discount link as well. Have a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you next one. Bye!